Hi everyone, I'm Fred Green from Martin Guitar, and this is the Modern Deluxe Series. The Modern Deluxe Series includes a D18, D28, OM28, and Triple O28. The idea for the Modern Deluxe has started quite a while ago. Actually, we've been working on this guitar probably for over a year and a half. So what we wanted to try to do was try to get some of the modern elements into uh, a standard line guitar that we've previously been offering on Custom Shop product. As the name Modern Deluxe denotes, we wanted the instrument to be deluxe and modern at the same time. So we're trying to combine those two features. When you open the case on a Modern Deluxe, one of the first things you'll notice is the logo on the headstock. For the first time ever, we've gone with a 1930s style pearl inlaid logo. It looks beautiful nestled in between the, the gold Waverleys. And then as your eye follows down the neck, what you'll notice is that the side dots are also inlaid in pearl and they match beautifully with the pickup. We went with a traditional gold Waverly tuning machine because they perform fantastic and they look great. But we wanted to match that up with a gold fret. And what we went with was a Evo gold fret. Now these frets are harder than our traditional nickel frets. They will last longer. They look fantastic. They're not gold. What it is is they actually have copper inside the alloy and that gives it a gold tint, but it matches beautifully with the tuning machines. We've been working with a lot of different woods over a long period of time, and the best combination for us on these particular guitars was our VTS Sitka Top and Adirondack Braces. Those Adirondack Braces make the instrument a little stiffer on the top, which gives you a lot more headroom, so when you really want to dig into the guitar, you can do that, and it's there for you. Comfort and ease of playability are always key issues with us when we're talking about new guitars. We're replacing the vintage line with the modern deluxe, and the vintage instruments generally had uh, fatter V-shaped necks. So on the modern deluxe, what we wanted to do was to give you a comfortable feel, one that was a little bit um, familiar at the same time. We had an old OM45 from the 1930s that we have been playing with. That neck had an asymmetrical feel to it. It got a little thinner at the bottom, so as you moved up the neck, it became a little bit more comfortable. Yet when you're up in the first position, it still had enough beefiness where it didn't cramp your hand. We went ahead and went with that profile, but that created some other issues what we didn't realize at the time. That fingerboard was much thinner than the current modern day fingerboards are. So we had to go with an authentic thickness fingerboard to match that 1931 neck profile. So you had a very, very comfortable feeling neck that felt familiar and still paid homage to some of the vintage Martins. We had been working with a company called Liquid Metal uh, for some custom pins that we had done in the past, which is basically a titanium alloy. And the guys in the design shop said, hey, we use these pins and we couldn't believe it. it seemed to boost the volume of the guitar by three to five decibels. So we went in the sound room and sure enough, I mean, every guitar we put it on, it seemed to jump the dBs up and it didn't affect the balance of the sound of the guitar. It wasn't sharp or it wasn't harsh at all. Uh, we wanted to find a way that people could identify the pin. They would be able to know that it was a liquid metal pin. So we decided to put a red dot on the inside of it. We call them red dot pins. Now we offer them as a, what we call a Lux liquid metal red dot pin. And we had these powder coated to a bone color. Uh, we also offer it in a Turkish Emery, which is on the D18. And then we also have those same pins in a chrome and a gold that you can buy through our 1833 shop. On the Modern Deluxe, we're utilizing a carbon fiber bridge plate. Carbon fiber by itself wasn't quite giving us the tonal properties we were looking for. What it actually is, is a piece of torrified Adirondack spruce with carbon fiber on either side. And we found that with that combination up underneath the guitar, underneath the bridge, it was much lighter and it was certainly more durable. So we're trying to give you the same material that we're using on the bracing, and we want to put that into the bridge plate, but give you the durability and some of the tonal brightness that we get from the carbon fiber and put it together. So now the, it's more durable, sounds brighter, it'll last longer, and it's super, super light and incredibly strong. You can almost stand on this thing and it won't break. We've been using wood bindings in the custom shop for quite a while. For the first time 
On any of our production Martin guitars, we've gone with maple binding as a standard feature on the 28 series, and we're using rosewood binding on the 18 series. With the Modern Deluxe, our goal was sophistication meets performance. We wanted it to look just as good as it sounds.